In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to use the pen tool in Illustrator CC. Now, the pen tool is the most uh, disturbing tool, I think, within Illustrator and Photoshop because it's such a blag to try and get under your belt and use. So, I'm going to show you how to use it today. And the way to do it is by practice, practice, practice. That's all it is. You need to know a few things and that's it. So, the pen tool is over on the toolbar and you can create some loads of funky looking shapes if you just click and pull. You can bend things and all that. But to anyone trying to use it for the first time, it is an absolute pain. So I've come up with a thing. Basically, I've just put a square in the middle of my artboard and I changed the color off the square to this sort of really light gray. And then I just went and locked the square and made a new layer. And of course, new layer pen tool. The first thing you need to know about the basics of the pen tool is that you need your smart guides on. So go to view and then go to Smart Guides or press Command or Control U. This will give you some guides along where to go. So say there's a shape here that's locked and we want to go around it, it will guide us exactly to that shape. Okay, so the first thing we need to notice is that this is red, the layer, and then now that we know it's red, we can start clicking. So on the first edge, just click and you'll see a red tiny box. That is what's known as an anchor point. That anchor point is there to help you know that that is a point in which a vector object has been placed. And then if we click again, like so, we won't see anything but a red line. That's because our color here isn't very good looking, as in you can't really see it. So I'm gonna change it to green, swap them around, and then I'm gonna bring up the stroke a little bit so you can see. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is do the same again, and we just clicked it, it's created a new line. Click, new line, and then you see this sort of uh, circle next to my cursor, that means we're going to close the shape. Awesome, we've just created a square outline. I'm going to go ahead and make it inverted like so, and we've got a square just like that. The next thing you could do is you could create a circle. And I'm going to do this by going ahead and making an ellipse in the center of it, my document. Now, for some reason, my computer, when it renders this out, um, it doesn't render out the best so we're gonna have to make do with what we have and you'll see a weird oblique circle so forgive me for that okay so we've got the pen tool again the first thing you want to do is make sure you have your smart guides on make your first point here and we're going to hold shift and move these out when we move these out you want to move it to the right and then work around to the right so we're going to move it around here just to about here and then we're going to go to about here and we're going to create another circle. Now you see I'm not getting it very right there because I haven't done this in such a long time. But when we get it right, we're going to just hold shift and we're going to pull this out. And what this does is it creates a bend within the shape. And this is what the bend is going to look like. If I just go to my anchor point here, it'll snap to place and click and create a bend. Like so, and we've created the perfect bend there. Don't know what this is going to look like, but we create another bend here. I didn't do that one right. We need to get it right down here at the bottom. I make sure we're just pushing it to the left. So you're holding shift. So now I'm pushing it to the left. And we're getting another circle there. Here we're going to do the same. We're going to wait until we find the point somewhere around here. There we go. And then we're going to push up with the shift tool we get the perfect sort of circle going on here then we're going to close the shape and we're going to pull to the right and close the shape now we've pulled them at generally the same angles so you can see that when you're pulling the handles then you're sort of getting a sort of a curve around uh, the shape okay so you won't be able to see that very well so I'm going to go ahead and uh, change it to a black so you can see we've created a nice perfect circle around there. I'm going to do it again, just for anyone who didn't really see it. So I'm going to create a stroke bigger. So start off your anchor point up at the top. We're going to find the anchor point to the left, which is around about here. And we're going to pull, actually wait a sec, I did that totally wrong. Anchor point at the top, move to the right a bit with your shift so you can constrain where you're going. So we want to go horizontally. Then we want to go to the anchor point here, pull, anchor point down here, pull, anchor point over here, 
pull. I can point over here and the final pull. I did that very quick, so it's not a perfect circle anymore. It's a bit, there's a few dents here and there. But you can see we've just created a nice, good circle there. Now, to create other things, you'll need to work out the bends yourselves. So that's why it's practice, practice, practice. So I would suggest after this, turn off your smart guides, then go for it. Because then that's what's going to make it a lot diff more difficult and give you so much more practice going around in the circles. Like so. Oh, I've done it wrong already. Let's see if I can do it. So even like I'm finding it a tad hard, but as long as I've got my angles constrained, it should be okay. So not the perfect circle again, but it's all about practice. And if you can practice doing this, then you'll be a n wizard at the pen tool. I will be doing another video about this in a more advanced way of using the pen tool and some other functions, because as you can see on the left, there's loads of different functions right there, like the plus and the minus and the convert anchor point tool and whatever, which I might just do a bit now just to show you if I can. I'm going to convert this anchor point and we can move that up. So yeah, basically I'm going to show you how to do that in the next video. I won't get tied into it now. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you've learned something from this. Give me a like rating and also go and support me on Patreon if you like my content. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye.